welcome to today's video series meet with a customer and today i am delighted to be joined by amanda shaw from cobb county school district in georgia um, as we know cobb county school district is one of the largest school districts in the us and uh, we were honored that uh, they decided to use synaptics for their virtual career fair last month and uh, i'm here with amanda to hear how did this go and uh, what's her thought of thought about the virtual engagement that's uh, becoming a norm these days so amanda welcome and uh, could you please tell us about yourself and about cobb county school district Sure. Um, thank you, Pratish, for having me. Um, so Cobb County School District is the second largest school district in the state of Georgia. We have 113 schools. Uh, we have over 18,000 Cobb County employees, which makes us the largest Cobb County employer. Um, and we serve approximately 100 to 110 to 113,000 students. Um, so we're a pretty large company uh, that to serve a, a large amount of students. Um, my role here in Cobb County um, Human Resources, I'm the Assistant Director for Employment for Cobb County. I do recruitment for Cobb for teachers as well as all of our college and university partnerships and the placement of our student teachers. Awesome. And uh, Amanda, how did Cobb County conducted career fairs in the past? Uh, do you want to share that experience? Sure. So in the past, we would hold an annual job fair at the end of March. We would do it as a two day event um, for the first day would be all of our elementary schools. We have 67 elementary schools. We would do a face to face job fair at one of our local high schools and it would encompass all of the elementary schools um, at tables. The principals and administrators would be represented at their respective school. Um, and then we would open the registration for candidates to attend. Usually we would open it uh, two months in advance and those candidates would be able to register online and then we would have our vacancies posted most of the time um, before the job fair so then they would know the candidates would know which booths they wanted to visit um, to talk to mm -hmm. those prospective principals and their schools and then the second day of the job fair would be the same format but it would be for the middle school and high school um, principals and administrators and then so those candidates if they were um, certified K-12, they may want to attend both events so that they could be able to visit all of the, the schools in the county, whereas our secondary schools, 6 through 12, uh, candidates would attend on their respective night and then for elementary, the same format. Mm -hmm. And then afterwards, principals um, and administrators would have a stack of resumes um, and then they would filter through those resumes. And hopefully those candidates had applied online um, with our application tracker. Mm -hmm. And then principals would begin hiring based on who's applied, who was a good candidate at the job fair. Mm -hmm. So yeah. each of those candidates would maybe get to spend about two minutes talking to a principal or an administrator at that school, give them their resume, and then they would have to move on to another school in which they wanted to meet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, as we all know, last year was different and uh, things had to go virtual. So at what point in time did you decide to go virtual? How did you find Synaptics and uh, uh, why did you decide to choose us? Okay, so we decided that we were gonna do a virtual job fair um, in the early fall of 2020. We started our school year, our students were all virtual and then we did a phase in model of phasing in our students back to face-to-face -to -face, uh, learning. Mm -hmm. So in the early fall, we decided, all right, we want to do a virtual job fair because we were seeing that as I started doing recruitment at colleges and universities, they were all virtual. Mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, being in, in close communication to um, the CDC and the Department of Health with Georgia, we found it was going to be more conducive for us and productive to be able to meet as many candidates by doing a virtual job fair because obviously we're going to follow the safety guidelines mm -hmm. um, to keep ourselves safe as well as our stakeholders. So we decided early fall. Um, I was talking with one of our technology analysts here in Human Resources and he had actually received um, an advertisement email regarding Synaptics and some possible um, offerings and partnership. So he forwarded me the email because I was talking with him about the need of a virtual platform and then trying to find the best fit for us. Mm -hmm. And 
when he sent me the email, as I started looking at Synaptics, what drew me to Synaptics was that they utilize Teams as the platform for virtual job fairs. And for us at Cobb County, all of our employees utilize Microsoft Office Teams um, and not Microsoft Office Suite. So we are used to Teams and we utilize Teams um, on a daily basis for our own meetings, whether it's in-house or with local schools. And so I really liked this idea that our principals would be able to do a virtual job there without having to learn a separate platform because we also unrolled a new um, application system. Mm -hmm. So I didn't want it to be yet one more thing 113 principals would have to learn because you know we're obviously in, an, in a year that's new for all of us and we're in uncharted territory as we're navigating the virtual online process with learning. So I wanted to make the virtual job fair a seamless, easy event for them to learn and find useful because something that obviously is going to be useful, they're going to utilize even more so. Awesome. And uh, uh, how big was your fair? Uh, how many schools attended? How many principals attended? Um, and uh, I mean, you are one of our largest customers uh, and uh, so uh, what was going in your mind? I mean, you were also probably doing this for the first time. Uh, how did the setup of your fair go? Um, can you uh, share some experience there? Yeah. OK, so for our job fair, we had all of our schools attended our job fair. Um, and so all 113 schools were represented. And when we opened the registration, as I mentioned before, when we did a face to face job fair that we would have registration open for a couple of months. Mm -hmm. uh, we had this registration open for two weeks. Uh, so we we worked very quickly, our HR team to have it posted on our website. Um, made, and, I'm, and before I posted it, I wanted to make sure that I understood the, the training for Synaptic. So. We, um, so I, I attended, I think it was three trainings with Synaptics mm -hmm. to understand my role um, at, in HR. Um, and I created you know, my own account and navigating it through that lens. But then I also created um, a set up an account as a principal and then set up an account as a candidate. So that way I could see the different platforms and the different ways it was going to interface. Um, and then from there created the instructions for the principals and gave them a step by step instructions with um, visuals, with a video so that they would know how to navigate it. And then we did the same structure for all of our candidates. That's amazing. And that's one of the reasons uh, why we see um, end users being more uh, engaging with the platform, because the platform, there's a lot of upwork effort that put in. And uh, there's a lot of training that goes in, and um, that's the reason why you had all these principals coming and engaging with the candidates. So that was one of the key reasons for the success. Um, so one so thing I'm, that I yeah. wanted to add, Pratish, to, to, for that question, um, the candidates in the two weeks that we had registration opened, we had um, 1,377 candidates that registered for the job there when I last checked. Um, and when we reg did the registration for a face to face job fair that was open for two months, we would typically have um, about twenty five hundred candidates that came to the job fair. Um, but that would be for the two day event over mm -hmm. um, for elementary and middle and high school. So for us, I still believe that even though the number was lower, it was still very productive based on the survey feedback that we received from principals as well as candidates. Um, because of the amount of time they got to spend with principals, um, you know, as I mentioned earlier, a face to face job fair might be two minutes. But when we did group sessions, which I know you're you're going to ask some of those questions, um, I'm sure. But when we did group sessions, the principals got to spend more time with candidates and got to answer questions and got to be able to share about their school. So it was it was just more productive for them and that it was more fruitful for them to be able to spend that time rather than kind of an assembly line, factory line of candidates coming through with a face to face event. OK, so Amanda, I was asking uh, how did your uh, experience with the one on ones and group meetings go? What do you feel uh, the balance between those two events and uh, uh, how do you foresee that being a key 
pillar for recruitment via virtual. Okay. It was huge because when we did face-to-face job fairs, like I said, it would be, you know, one-on-one, two minutes. Doing the group sessions, and the way I prefaced it with our principals when I did their training, I prefaced the group sessions as a couple of options. They could do a group session where they um, did an informational meeting just about their school as a whole, because um, even though we're in one school district, each of our schools, we've got magnet schools, we have STEM schools, we have STEAM with the arts component, um, we have some of our schools that are charter. So we wanted our candidates to be able to see that just because we're one county, we are very diverse um, in our schools and what we offer. So I would encouraged our principals if they wanted to set up a, a group session that was just informational, they could do that. And I told them to limit it to 30 minutes. Um, and so um, they could also, if they were, they knew for uh, their candidates, that, or excuse me, their school, that they were going to have in some English openings or a certain grade level opening. Maybe they wanted to preface their group session and title it Seeking Special Ed Candidates or Seeking English Candidates. So that way they could narrow the scope of the audience in that group session to be just about that type of position that they're, they're seeking. And so um, one of the difficulties that we had, um, which was not having to do with synaptics, is that we have not posted our vacancies yet for the next school year. So that was a big concern for our principals of having a job fair, but not yet knowing the vacancies. So and, and so we prefaced it with, well, let's let's look at this as an opportunity to gather our, our candidates and see the pool of candidates. So then we know when our vacancies do come out later this month, we will no, now have a pool of candidates to follow up with. So I gave them a certain outline for each of their group sessions. So the outline, whether it was an informational meeting or just about a um, content area. So the, the outline I gave them was first, you're going to introduce your school. You're going to introduce yourselves because even though a candidate may know about Cobb County, they may not know about that individual school because we are so large. Mm -hmm. So once you introduce your school and your and your team, who you guys are, then you're going to introduce your topic of what you're talking about. So if it is about your, you know, what you're going to be sharing about your school or the position you're hiring, then at the end, make sure. So I told them in teams, make sure you utilize the chat button and tell your candidates. OK, so now we're going to open the floor for a Q&A session. So if you have questions that you'd like to, you know, for our team to address, if you will, please type your questions in the chat so that way the principals and administrators could then address each of those questions. And then at the end, I reminded principals, you know, make sure you t you remind candidates to apply um, to complete their Cod County application. And then if they want to, if they're interested in requesting a one on one interview with them to be sure to do that. So that was the structure I gave every principal for any group meeting that they did. Um, they found the chat to be very useful because they were nervous that candidates were going to all take their mics off unmute and then all start talking right. at the same time and then it becomes chaos. So <laughs> I'm like, no, nope, utilize your chat button um, <laughs> for questions and that will, you know, and then, you know, continue to make it flow very well um, and stay organized and so that they can address all the questions they needed. And the feedback when I did a, the survey um, post job there, the feedback I received from candidates and from principals is how much they enjoyed the group sessions because I told them, you know, you're going to find either that's you love that school and you want to be there or you're going to find mm, maybe this isn't a good fit for me or go to a group session of a school that you may not know anything about because then you may find there's an interest there that wasn't there previously. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And since we are talking about uh, principals experience, uh, what else did they say? Uh, did they like the whole uh, experience working virtually, recruiting virtually? Uh, what uh, customer satisfaction scores did you get? Uh, did you have any of that information? Yes, okay. so I did survey the principals asking that. I did. Um, I based the survey on a Likert scale from one to five, five being the highest. And the score was a 4.7 of their satisfaction utilizing a, the job fair through Teams. They loved that because again, they, they, um, they know it already. They um, the average score was a 4.9 on having a virtual job fair versus a face to face job fair because a couple of things they like doing the virtual because the obvious piece they can be at the comfort of their school. 
They could have it during the day while they're working. They could have it at the comfort of their home. They could spend more time that works within their schedule to meet with candidates, whether it's group session or one on one. Um, and then also they found, you know, that when we had their face to face job fair, they worked all day. So you work a full school day. Then you got to pack up and leave, go to a new location, set up the job fair. You've got to be on and ready for four hours. And you're talking to candidates one on one for two minutes. And then at the end of that job fair, you're left with a stack of resumes that you still got to meet with your team and go through again and then try to remember who's a viable candidate versus who's a not yet candidate. So it's it to, for them. They loved it. They loved the virtual job fair. If they prefer the virtual over a face to face um, as they move forward, which to me is very, um, very interesting to hear because before virtual, they would always say, I don't want to do a Skype meeting. I don't want to talk to someone virtually. I have to meet them face to face before I can decide on an interview if I want to move forward with a candidate. Now they're saying, well, we, I love it. And, I, and then from there, when I do the virtual, then I can decide if I want to do a follow up face to face. And then again, it's at their 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 leisure of when they're available doing it whether, during the school day or after. So the fact that they had more control over their schedule and we did our virtual job fair over three days. We didn't do it over one day or four hours. We did it over three days. And the expectation from all of our principals was we expect them to um, participate in the job fair. They get to define what that participation looks like, whether they want to do one group session or 10, if they want to do one one on one interview or none, um, because some principals didn't feel comfortable doing a one on one interview yet because they don't have their allotments or their vacancies. Um, so they didn't want to waste anyone's time, which is understandable. Um, but with that, I asked them, are you planning to follow up with those candidates? And they they were an absolute yes. Once we know what our true vacancies are going to be. I can't hear you. Yeah, that's awesome, Amanda, and that's great to hear that uh, this came across so well. So what was your overall uh, satisfaction with the tool? Um, did it meet all your expectations? Do you feel you achieved your goal that when you started uh, getting on this platform? Um, and what's your plan for the coming months? So um, this was the, the first time I've ever organized and um, launched a virtual job fair um, for the district or in any professional setting. Um, and it was I was nervous about what my expectations were. I tried to not really have many <laughs> because you don't know what you don't know. So um, the, the expectation I had was I wanted to be able to get candidates in front of principals, make sure our principals felt comfortable to navigate technology because some are more um, comfortable than others. And so I wanted to make sure they had adequate support. So that was really my expectation. Um, I was blown away by the amount of candidates we had um, register, attend events, and um, I was pleasantly surprised by the feedback I got from principals. Again, based on we thought they would want to stay face to face and now they prefer virtual. Um, and so our follow up for it, we are planning another job fair, which we don't typically do. We're going to do another job fair virtually um, in June, um, in the beginning of June, once school is out. And so, again, we're going to schedule it over a couple of days. And so that way, again, we will have all of our vacancies. And so our principals know what their charge will be in the hiring, whether it's two positions, five positions. And so the goal in that ne that next job fair will be to secure contracts for um, our new teachers. And mm -hmm. then another uh, thought that we're planning to do is have another virtual job fair, which we've never done a job fair in November. Um, Mid-year, we don't have as many teachers to hire mid-year, but we still have a couple hundred just because of the size of our district. So we're, we're planning on doing a November virtual job fair for those January hires, which we've never done that before. Um, but just seeing this is an opportunity for us to think outside the box and explore ways to work smarter and more efficiently and being able to use technology to our advantage. Yeah. And, and that's the great thing. It gives you so much flexibility and empowers you to try all these things. Um, that's amazing. So finally, uh, I mean, uh, Amanda, you you were one of the reasons why 
this fair was so successful uh, because you being a champion within the organizations, I'm sure you spend countless hours trying to uh, make sure people are comfortable, their experience is well. Uh, do you have some stories to share on that, uh, on how you were able to pull everything together? And if uh, somebody is uh, starting new, what advice do you have for them? Uh, because people are still on the verge uh, if they want to get into this uh, virtual territory. Uh, they, are, they would go through the same issues, same concerns that you had at some point in time. So any best practices and advice that you want to share? Absolutely. First thing is um, I would um, attend, attend the trainings with Synaptics. Um, do those. You guys were amazing, uh, you know, answering emails very quickly, jumping on teams, meeting with me, walking me through visually what it looks like. So doing that. Um, the, the second thing that I would advise is creating the accounts by your audience. So if you're the staff member, obviously having your own account so you can see everything kind of as the hub of the job fair, but create an account as the interviewer create an account as the candidate so you can see what everyone else can see. Um, so because it, it just makes you more apt to be able to answer those questions of concerns from those um, those that audience. Um, the next thing I would do is create instructions for those audience members, whether it's the candidate or their principal, create instructions for them to reference with visuals. The last thing that um, that I did that I found was very helpful time consuming, but very helpful because we did this on the front end. So now when we go to do the next job there, it's going it, to, I don't anticipate as many questions, but having team, because we use teams during the day, during the school day, I would call principals. They would send me an email and they had difficulty or questions, in, you know, navigating how to set up their group session. So I would call them on teams. And then so immediately, because I felt like if someone has a question, then they're waiting on me so they can't get their job done until they get their question answered. So I would call them on Teams, share, and I would have them share their screen with me, and then I would walk them through what they need to do. And so I was able to answer their questions in a timely manner and help them and help their other interview members, so other their APs, other people that were going to be conducting group sessions. Um, so I did ended up doing 67 of those calls um, and took calls in my office. I took them on my phone and um, helped them at home at night. Um, and, I, and I didn't mind doing that. Some of those calls were five minutes. Some of them were 30 minutes, just depending mm -hmm. on um, the novice of technology for that individual. <laughs> but I do anticipate that it would be less the next time because they do feel very comfortable based yes. on the feedback they sent me of how well it ran because we did all that on the front end the day of the job fair during that three days i didn't have a lot of questions because i spent the time on the front end prepping our principals and getting them comfortable so that they could navigate it during the fair and that if they weren't having trouble during the fair then they're going to feel more excited and you know and it's they're going to see that this is advantageous for them and not feel like that because it's new and it's technology that they couldn't do it. So I wanted them to feel very confident going into the fair. So doing that work on the front end paid off because as the result, they, you know, their, their feedback on the survey was that they were very comfortable during the fair. Well, awesome, Amanda. And uh, we are so proud to have you as, as our customer because you are doing all these things to make sure people have a good experience on the platform. Uh, yeah, so thank you, Amanda, once again for joining me today and uh, sharing your experience and all these stories. We really appreciate it and uh, we are honored to partner with you and thank you for your partnership. Yes, thank you, Pratish, and thank you to all of your team at Synaptics. Please extend my thanks to them and I look forward to our next job fair uh, virtually.